When I think of effective questions relative to coaching, I think of coaching as important work, whether your job title is leader or whether your job title is coach within the organization. What I've come to appreciate about effective questioning is that questions asked effectively increase the likelihood of keeping ownership for problem solving at the right level. We've come to learn a lot more of that from the work of Ed Shine from his book Helping, and he talks about four kinds of questions, pure humble inquiry, diagnostic inquiry, prompting inquiry, and a fourth type, type called process inquiry. And we encourage people to practice and notice how effective they are at pure, humble inquiry, questions for which you do not have the answers yourself and for which you're trying to help the owner of the problem gain uh, clarity about the current condition and the causes for the current condition. An example of a, an effective question of that sort would be, what can you tell me about the ways you're investigating this? Uh, a, a less effective way to do that would be, have you thought of looking at X, Y, Z? When I ask it the first way, I'm trying to understand where the problem owner's thinking is and how they're going about their work. When I ask it the second way, the less effective way, I am actually unintentionally triggering them to think the way I think. And as a result, the problem owner waits to hear how I think rather than going forward with doing thinking for herself. I have experience being both a coach inside of an organization and also being an external coach who partners with coaches. And one of the things I had to learn for myself when I was working as an internal coach was to teach people and myself that being a coach meant supporting others, learning and figuring out their path forward with what they'd been asked to accomplish and not be the doer of the work myself. Often organizations identify people who become viewed as the go-to people when things get messy, when there are things that need to be dug into and some progress made on. And those people are often then uh, shifted to job as coach. What they haven't learned how to do for themselves and what the organization hasn't appreciated is the distinction between being the doer and being the one who supports others with building the capability to be really effective problem solvers themselves. I think one of the, the ways that was helpful to me and that I try to support other people with doing is thinking about small experiments for themselves, recognizing where are the circumstances where I might be more likely to jump in and be the rescuer or the doer of the situation and have a little plan for myself um, even if it's just one hour in a week where I'm going to learn how to hold back to notice when my better work would be to support other people and asking them effective questions so they can figure a path forward for themselves. And in conjunction with that, actually having a buddy who is watching me and giving me feedback about ways I performed according to my plan and ways that I was off track on my plan so that I can do some PDCA for myself and go forward and try again. It, it takes practice.